testing Sephora's most popular products versus the fakes and dupes. Let's go to Sephora and have a look at their most popular products. I know so many people talk about this Huda Beauty baking powder and I have never tried it. So I'm gonna be trying this, not in the shade Peachy Pie. I'm gonna try the shade Pound Cake, I think. Then of course I have to go to Glossier and Junk Elephant and look what I just spotted. How many of the bronzing drops they have. So I'm definitely going to be getting some of these. I'm just going to get two. One of them is actually going to be for you guys. I love all of the Glow Recipe products. Look how nice they look as well. So I'm going to be trying... Oh, this is the new one, the Nia Cinnamon. Nia Cinnamon? Nia Cinnamon. I literally just got it, Nia Cinnamon. Sol de Janeiro is incredibly popular, especially this scent, the salted caramel. I am actually obsessed with it. It smells so good. So I can understand why everyone loves it because I love it myself. I have so many products to test out today. I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So while I was in the mall, I popped into Guess and guess what I got. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. I just know already, like I am so jelly. Look at this gorgeous bag. I absolutely love this and I feel like it's gonna be able to go with so many things. It's like nude and a very light pink design on it. It's got a little buckle. It's got an adjustable strap. And while I was in Sephora, as you guys know, I also got you the Drunk Elephant De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Drops. And I also got you the brand new Glow Recipe Niacinamide Hue Drops. So you guys can do a little comparison between the two, see which ones you like most. I also got you the Sol de Janeiro Jet Set. And this is the Salted Caramel Pistachio Scent one. It comes with the Bum Bum Cream. It comes with Shower Gel and a little Body Mist. All you have to do to enter is go follow me on my snap i'm mia rose fizz and let me know in the comments that you've done that let's get started with the first product and that is going to be the sol de janeiro pistachio and salted caramel spray this is my one and oh i'm just obsessed with it it literally smells so so good like this smell is addicting and i love that they do it in so many different products so i'm going to be testing this out as well as the bum bum cream so it's the same scent salted caramel and pistachio as you can see, I've already used quite a lot of it up. Here I have what is so called a dupe. So I don't know what it smells like, so I'm really interested to see. It needs to like spray it out first because I can't smell anything yet. Oh, I don't know if I like this scent quite as much. It smells a bit more alcoholy, a bit more like an actual like perfume, which could be nice if that's what you're going for. Whereas this one smells more like sweet. However, this does smell really good. So this is by the brand So Unique and it's designed for layering. So maybe like they do a lot of different scents. So maybe if you want to like layer two together, but this is the truffle cream, white chocolate and coconut flower body mist. So this is meant to be really similar. And I can see they do smell very similar. And and then for the bum bum cream, I got this from Amazon. So this is literally like a fake of the bum bum cream. I am so surprised that these things can like actually exist on Amazon, like that they're able to sell these. How is this not identical? The packaging is literally almost identical and look it says body bum cream like how similar is that like this shouldn't be allowed we need to see inside what does it actually look like <gasps> oh my gosh it literally comes with the like inner bit and that literally looks identical the cream is a bit more yellowy looking. I must say the cream doesn't quite look as edible and yummy as the actual bum bum cream. They do look very, very similar and the consistency looks pretty similar for both. Yeah, they do feel very similar, but I need to smell them. The real one definitely has a stronger scent. This is definitely, oh my gosh, I got it on my face. This is definitely not a scented, but they literally look identical. And I mean, for a body cream, I feel like they both seem like they're gonna work pretty nicely. I have a really good idea to be able to properly test the perfume. So I'm gonna blindfold Sienna, okay. put the blindfold on, and get her to guess which one is which. I need to okay. decide which one to like get her to smell first. And just sniff. Okay. Can you smell that they're different or do they smell the same? They smell really similar, but I feel like I can tell there's something a little bit different. Okay, which one do you think's real? The second um, one. Oh, you're right! Sienna is gonna be my little test subject <laughs> once again for the next product, which is the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. Ooh. And these are anti-pollution sunshine drops. When I went into four today, Sienna, mm -hmm. They literally had the whole like rack full of these bronzing drops. Oh wow, maybe it's because it's a Monday. They might have to like yeah. stop. 
thing it's a Monday on morning, a Monday. so the Sephora is like really tidy and like everything was in stock. That's it a tip, great. guys, if you want the Sephora to be in stock, go there on a Monday. This is what the real product by Drunk Elephant looks like in the packaging nice. and the actual thing itself. This box itself doesn't look that similar, but it no. is a similar product that it's like the anti-pollution drops. And it has kind of got bronzing. the sun bit on it. Yeah, I guess I can see that they're sort of copying them there, but yeah, it's still but like original enough not to be shocking. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is when you're like, um, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, they okay, they're literally really identical. Now. Apart from like the shape of it, and that's yeah. brown rather than like golden color. Let's try this on one side of Sienna's face. Maybe we'll put it here. Ooh, look how it comes out. Nice, Ooh, like bronzing. That's nice. These bronzing drops, <laughs> sorry, Sienna, Don't are worry. quite strong. I'm not gonna like super blend it in because we wanna be able to see like what the difference <laughs> of the color is. I'm gonna see so curious. Okay, All so the, the lip thing is quite similar. Oh, that's, oh my gosh, it looks like poop. Ah, it looks greenish. Uh, this does not look like a good dupe uh, at all. The other one looks so similar. That does nothing. Giving me a greenish dog poo tint. Whereas this, imagine mixed up with your moisturizer, put all over your face, that will add that color. Yeah. It's super strong. Okay, but so these drops stronger, definitely don't do what the drunk elephant drops. I'm not gonna say they're a no. very good like fake or a dupe. I feel like you could probably we find a proper makeup brand that's a bit cheaper. Well, for example, yeah. I feel like Elf do something like that. Yeah, comment down below some dupes of this which like actually work, not just like trying to make it look like it's the same product. Next product I'm gonna be testing is from Charlotte Tilbury. And if you guys know anything about the Charlotte Tilbury brand, her most like popular shade is actually Pillow Talk. And I think yeah. it first came out in this matte lipstick and then she's wearing our lip liners and then literally everything in the shade Pillow Talk. Like I've had a Pillow Talk mascara before, blushes, she does eyeshadow palettes, and it's just really nice because look at the shade. Let's open this up because the shade of the Pillow Talk is so nice, but I've never actually owned the lipstick myself, so I'm really excited Ooh. to see what it actually looks like. Like, That's look at nice. the tube, it's so nice. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's the shade Pillow Talk, which is this really nice, like, mauve sort of color. I feel like that's like really brownie. your kind of color. That's the yeah, sort this of is color definitely the wear. sort of color that I love. And apparently this is meant to be universal and looks good on everyone. I'm gonna clean my lips completely. And now I'm gonna put the pillow talk just on one side. I'm gonna put it on this side. It feels really weird to put lipstick only on one side of my face. So as you can see, it's quite natural. Yeah. I do have lip blush, so it's not really gonna sharpen my lip. But what I'm really curious to see is, when I was looking up, everyone was saying that the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Eurostar is like one of the best dupes for it, and the shade is like Ooh. almost the same. Okay, so I'm really excited really to fun. see the difference. This does look like a really nice lipstick, and it's NYX, so I know that it's gonna actually be, you know, a good makeup, not just like those Amazon fakes because I feel like after those bronzing drops, I don't know if I trust them. Like what on earth actually are they? Oh, they do look similar. They look very similar. I feel like similar. maybe that one looks a bit more red. I don't know, am I making that up? Yeah, yeah. I, no, I know what you mean. This one looks a little bit more pinky. But I mean, some people like, might like it to look a bit more pinky. Yeah, and so also it's on it's the other might side. look a bit different when it's on the lips actually. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually more like pigmented, I think. Ooh. You see how it just like properly like, yeah. went onto my lips. I mean, it's very subtle, the difference. They are, I would say this is a really good dupe. You can wear that and no one will know. I like, see why people say that this is a dupe because literally if I was to like blend these two together, it would completely blend in. Like you can't even really see the line of like where I've no. done it. I would say this is a fabulous dupe. I'm definitely gonna be using both these lipsticks, to be honest. I think everyone loves these rare beauty blushes. Like, yeah. they're literally amazing. I see so many people talking about it. I actually have the shade Happy and I have the shade Worth. I have the dupe. So this is actually a fake one, which I bought off Amazon. And literally oh, the no. listing of it looks so like identical, but the box so far just looks kind of like, it's like a similar sort of product, but it doesn't yeah. look like super fake yet. So I'm yeah. really excited to see what it actually looks like in real life. I'm actually really nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh my God. That looks a bit interesting. It's like That crack. looks a bit interesting. What? I'm so confused. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. No, it looks very liquidy. I'm now it so looks very liquidy. It was just like how it was sitting in the bottle, oh, I guess. Oh, I see, yeah. Now, what I think is so di interesting is, wait, now it does actually say Lacquer Rain Beauty, but online it just had like a random collection of letters. <laughs> so I got the dupe to the shade Happy on Amazon. It doesn't say it like what shade it is on here, but on Amazon it did actually say like the shades and it was the exact same ones, like the names as <laughs> for the um, That's really Rare Beauty funny. ones. But let's see if Selena Gomez is actually like worth it, her makeup brand, because we've literally got an identical one. It's got the exact same packaging, it's crazy. I'm gonna start with the Rare Beauty one. Nice big chunky applicator. Yeah, I love the applicator to this. And these blushes are like so high pigmented. pigmented. Yeah, you, you put only need a tiny on. bit. So it really lasts you a long time. Now let's see with this, I'm worried. I don't know how the pigment's Ooh, gonna be. It it's a bit really more watery. liquidy. Yeah, it's a lot more like watery. Ooh, it's that's a bit different. brighter. But I do actually like a nice bright pink blush and like I said they do have lots of different shades on there so maybe I just didn't choose like the best shade. I'm gonna try blending out with my finger a little bit first just to see mm. the difference of the pigment. Hmm, I feel like they both seem like they're so blending out quite similar. This is what they look like on the two fingers. I just love how high pigmented it is like look at that. It's definitely a very blushy blush like you have to be careful of how much you use. Now I'm gonna try this side. See how that blends out. Ooh. It's not really blending out. I feel like I. Oh my gosh. Talk about no, that's pigment. Really, that's even this is more. insanely. No, but it's like it doesn't blend. Oh, that's a bit weird. What the heck? Okay, that is not that easy to use because although this is high pigmented, it does blend out really well. Mm. So you don't have to worry like too much. But this is like not moving on my face. Like I feel like I have to completely like. Oh, and then look, it's like coming off. That is not Oh, great oh yeah, now you've started to rub it off. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I don't like how that like sits on my skin. That just looks really rubbish. I'm actually disappointed because I was oh, kind of hoping that would work. That's a shame. The next product that I'm going to be testing out is from a brand which I've never actually owned anything from before and that is Glow Recipe. So I'm Ooh. super excited that I'm actually going to be getting a product out of this challenge that I've never had before. Oh my gosh. So this is it and it's like original, the real Glow Recipe package. I love the bottle of this. Look it's how cute so it is. pretty. And like the inside of the box is actually really nice. It has a little message there. And this is the watermelon niacinamide dew drops. So let's open this up. I don't even know how. Oh, it's like yeah. a little squeeze bottle. Yeah, okay. these are so nice. Mm, you've had some before, haven't you, Sienna? Yeah. I want to see if it like smells nice. Oh, that actually smells like real like watermelon. Yeah. That smells really nice. I'm actually so excited I love to the see what the dupe is like. Let's have a little squirt. Can we use you as my little sure. tester again? Let's put the actual glow recipe on this side. Nice and clear, goes in nicely. Obviously it's like a serum, so it doesn't really show. Like, show. We actually have a fake from Amazon. So this is also a watermelon niacinamide serum. This literally looks identical yeah. to the Glow Recipe. I definitely think the Glow Recipe packaging looks a bit more like nicer, luxury. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Now we can see the dupeness of it. Oh my Ooh, gosh. They are literally okay. like the same bottle. Yeah, they are similar. But this one is not clear, but that does Ooh. mean the serum inside is definitely pink because we can literally see the serum inside. Ooh. See if it has a smell. I feel like the lid isn't very strong. Ooh, it does smell really, really similar Ooh, and nice. Whereas yeah, some of does. the other dupes have had, okay. like it wasn't really about the smell, but this does actually smell like watermelon. So, so far, I think this is seems like a really good dupe, especially considering it obviously has niacinamide in it as well. So it's not like lacking on that aspect. Ooh, came out quite nicely. Yeah, this actually smells really, really similar and really nice still. Ooh, and on your face? Yeah, it feels nice. Does it feel nice? I'm actually happy with this dupe. I think that actually seems like a really good dupe. Obviously, yeah. you'd have to like test out and see if it made a difference with your skin, how they both affected them. I just put some concealer on because the next thing we're gonna be testing out is a setting powder. And that Whoa. is of course the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Now, the really funny story is I actually ordered this off Amazon first of all. And you know when you order something, you can't quite tell the size. Well, somehow I accidentally ordered a travel size. So I'm really excited about that because <laughs> if this works, I've now got a good travel 
travel size one, but I wanted to see like the real like full size product so we can get a proper comparison yeah. to its dupe. So let's open this. Oh no, I just broke the box. See. Well, you guys know what the box looks like anyway, so I can't open this without breaking it. So this is what the real Huda Beauty Easy Bake Ooh, looks like. It's very nice. nice. And yeah. then I looked it up and everyone was saying that the Maybelline Fit Me powder is a really good dupe for it. So this is in the shade Ivory and I got this one in the shade Pound Cake. They both do these in lots of different shades. So I feel like maybe you could probably get these even more of a similar shade. But to be honest, they both just look like the right sort of shade for me. Let's open this up and see Ooh. what it's really like. Cause I've never tested this out and I've seen so many people always using this. Ooh, <laughs> definitely breathed a bit of that in. This smells nice, smell it. It does smell Ooh, nice. Oh, that smells really nice. I love my makeup to smell nice. Now I have a scar on, so like it's kind of a bit hard for me to do this right now. This seems like it's working so well. I usually leave my setting powder on for a little bit, so I'm not gonna brush this off immediately. So while we wait for that to set, let's try the Maybelline Fit Me. Now I didn't realize this, but that one's obviously loose and this one is like not a loose setting powder. Cuda Beauty do this like same setting powder, but not in loose. So maybe they might be like slightly more similar dupes of each other, but this is meant to make you look really matte and poreless. And this is what this setting powder also does. I think for this one, maybe I should use my powder puff still. I'm gonna use the other side of it so that I like get less of it. Oh, they, they look both similar. look very similar. I like that they do it in so many different shades. So you can get the perfect shade for you. Cause I hate when setting powders just come in pure white. Like even for me, it makes me look pale. Hmm. Obviously this is more of like not a loose setting powder. So they're not quite the same to compare. That just like pat straight on. It does seem like a good setting powder so far. Let's brush this side off now. I do normally use a loose setting powder. So I think I do prefer that. But to be honest, this just like looks the same. You can't really tell any different. And I think they both work really well. The next product we're gonna be testing out is the Pixi on, on the, the go, go blush. On the glow. I just yeah. realized that it says that not on the go. On the glow blush. I am absolutely love this one. It's a tinted moisturizer stick. It feels so nice on my skin and I love this shade. It's Fleur. the shade Fleur. It's just such like a happy pink. It's very subtle and natural. I use this on like my no makeup days. So I'm gonna test it out on Sienna to show you guys what it looks like on a bare face. Cause I do find that the real one doesn't really show up. Like I've tried it on when I've had like a full face and it doesn't really suit the vibe, especially cause it's like moisturizing, it's better. Yeah, it feels really like nice and glow. creamy and thick. I've never used it before, it feels nice. And because I love it so much, I decided to get it in another shade. This is a shade Juicy, it's more of like an orange one. So I feel like this will look really nice. Like if I was on holiday or something, this is gonna be like my go-to product. But I wanted to get it as well to show you guys what the actual box looks like because I threw away the box to this one. To show you guys about this face, I'm gonna so peel off. Realistic, it's almost like funny. So this is a shade Shy Pink, but I feel like it looks really similar to Fleur. I feel like it's yeah. definitely the dupe. Wait, I think Fleur, what does it say? It says on, on the, the go. blush. So <laughs> they can't say on the glow, but yeah, look at the difference in the packaging. Like they both have a picture of a girl. Ooh. The packaging on it's it like all is so, identical. so it's similar. It's funny that with that one, they did the greens a different shade, whereas yeah. on the real, the green is actually the same shade. That is interesting. I wonder right. if the actual bottle thing is like. So yeah, this is a tinted moisture stick used on eyes, lips, and cheek. So it's literally just exactly the same product. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a slight size difference. It's slightly smaller. Okay. Obviously it doesn't actually say Pixie on it. It has whatever that brand is, like just some random brand, which I guess does like fakes. And it says on the go blush, tinted moisture stick, literally looks identical. Wow. Let's test this out. Ooh, Ooh yeah, it happened. came with that same little thing, which is what my actual pixie blush came okay. with. So that's nice to see. Oh, it looks a lot darker. Mm, they look very similar, Ooh. but the mm, actual pixie one, one came in a lot of different shades. And I can't remember if this came in multiple shades, it might. I actually prefer using a brush just to blend this out when I have no makeup on. I feel like it just, like a foundation brush, blends it out nicely. I did let that sit. Can I see your face a bit more? Because I can't really blend it out that well. Okay. Have a look at that, it blends out Ooh. nicely. Let's test this side out. Okay, that's Hopefully nice. this actually blends out unlike the Rare Beauty one. For some reason, Ooh. I have a feeling it's not going to, is it? No, 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 it is. It looks Okay, nice. that's good. Bit hard to do this with someone else. The shade is definitely a little bit different, but this does have a nice pigment to it. I feel like it actually seems like quite a nice blush. How does it feel Ooh. on your skin? They kind of feel the same. I mean, maybe this one feels a bit more heavy. I think it's 
pretty good. The next product is actually for your hair. Ooh. And this is the Olaplex Hair Conditioner Bond Maintenance. I absolutely love this. It's really helping my hair because I got it bleached because I'm trying to get it back to my natural blonde color. I'm being impatient and I just want this brown out of my hair. So I keep bleaching it and this is like literally saving my hair. Like the smell of it is so mm, yeah, nice. I love and it just works really well in my hair. So it's really and nice. it's meant to like actually scientifically bond repair. I don't understand wow. how it works. But I know it's meant to work and loads of people talk about it. I have actually got two products which are meant to be the same thing. So this one I got off Amazon. It's called Pure Plex. They are definitely copying that. Olaplex. Yeah, Pure it Plex. definitely is like a copycat one. Bond restructuring conditioner. I prefer conditioners and products that come in this bottle. I feel like it just looks nicer on my shelf. But yeah. that's just like aesthetic. It's not about whether it actually works. I wonder if it's going to smell the same or if they haven't like bothered to put that much thought into it. Oh! <laughs> Oh no. Uh, yeah. mm, it smells different. That one smells a bit like. Yeah, this doesn't. Interesting. It does I mean, smell it nice. Smells it smells nice, very lightly but... floral. It kind of yeah. reminds me of like toilet. Like, I was freshener. gonna say, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like um, a laundry detergent. The next one is from Revolution. So I think you can get this from Superdrug and like Boots. And this is a Bond Plex conditioner as well. And they do like a Ooh. shampoo of it. Oh, this smells nice. This smells like actual hair product. Mm, I like this one. Nice. And it also comes in the nice little bottle which you can put on like the side in your bathroom so and stuff. I time. actually really like yeah, the look me of too. this. To be honest, between the two, I'm not sure which I like the look of more. Like I just shampooed my hair and now I'm going to try and put conditioner, all three in my hair in different sections. This is what it looks like. And I feel like it just works really well in my hair. Makes it nice and soft. So I'm just gonna put that in the back of my hair. Next, let's try the Pure Plex. So I'm interested to see if this is like the same sort of, ooh, this is more of like, a watery consistency, I can already tell. Yeah, so I think that was quite a lot to put in this bit of my hair. Like, I do like to put a lot of conditioner, but still. And now let's test the Revolution. Ooh, again, a different consistency. It's kind of like in the middle. Oh, I think this is my favorite scent. Next, let's test another Drunk Elephant product. Ooh. Now, this is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I absolutely love this stuff. I put it on I before my really makeup. I really want to try this. And I just love how it like squirts out like I that. know, I've seen so many videos. But you have to be really careful though. That's the only thing because a lot can come out in okay. one go. So like that is like almost too much. So you have to push really lightly on it. That's what I've noticed with the real. My only thing okay. about it is like, it's not necessarily that good. Fake has the same like squeezy bit. Yeah, I hope let's it does. Let's just pop that on your face so we can see. Oh yeah, see. I forgot. It's only for half my face. <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Okay, nice. It does really hydrate and moisturize and the smell is like, doesn't really have a smell. For the fake, I got this from Amazon once again and it's by a brand, Eel Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Moisturizing cream, hydrate and nourish plant oil ceramides. Ceramides? Ooh. I don't really know what they are. Ooh, but this, okay, this one's a bit looks... bluey. Ooh. Yeah, this is more like a blue, whereas the real is Okay, purple. so I can I definitely, definitely tell prefer. that this is a lot more like luxe. Like this is like matte. The product yeah. feels a lot more nice, whereas this like the lid's almost falling off. But look, it does Ooh, come yay. with the same sort of lid. Ooh. Okay, the product looks, looks a bit really more like watery. watery. The other one looks really thick and creamy. So let's test this on okay. Sienna's face. This is like super watery. It's like falling uh, off my hands. Yeah. I don't like that. I love the consistency of the real drunk elephant. That one feels a lot nicer. I'm gonna like wipe some of that off and some of this one off. Cause like that's too much to put on just like a little bit of her face. But yeah. let's like try and rub them in. Oh, this one feels really- I'm gonna try really, rubbing the other one in It feels as well. really nice and creamy. This one feels like really watery. I yeah. feel like with the serum earlier, I like the watery, but with this, I prefer the creamy. Yeah, this is meant to be like thick. So and yeah. nice. Ooh, kind of has a similar scent. Sort of. Doesn't yeah. really smell like anything you gain, which is nice. Don't forget, you have a chance to win the brand new guest bag, as well as loads of these goodies from Sephora. All you have to do is add me on Snapchat. I'm at Mia Rose Fizz on there. And I've been posting loads of like vlogs and extra content to there. So I hope you guys are enjoying all of that on Snapchat if you've followed me there. So I wanted to say thank you guys for everyone who's already followed me on there. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.